Hi, I'm Stephen Fisher with Yamaha, and I'm here with my friends at Kraft Music showing you the DTX 920K electronic drum system. Now remember, for a great deal, make sure you check out the bundles that they have here at Kraft, because they have everything you need to get you going so you can have an awesome experience with your new drum set. So this is the Yamaha DTX 920K. It's a five-piece configuration that also includes a ride cymbal, two crash molds, and a hi-hat. For my snare drum, it's an XP120S. For the toms, I have a pair of XP100Ts, and for the floor tom, it's an XP120T. So I have two 10-inch toms here, a 12-inch snare, and a 12-inch floor tom. For our cymbals, we have a PCY155 for the ride cymbal, a pair of PCY135 for the crash cymbals, and an RHH135 for the hi-hat, and of course, the KP100 for the bass drum. Our exclusive DTX pad is unique in many ways. First of all, it's built like a tank. Solid, secure, and extremely durable because you want that in a pad because you're going to be hitting it all the time. A couple unique features about the DTX pad. First of all, the silicone surface has a great natural acoustic drum feel. Now, I've played a lot of drum pads in my day, and I'll tell you, the Yamaha DTX pad is the closest representation to an acoustic drum that you're going to get. Further enhancing the natural playing experience of the DTX pads, the snare pad's a little bit tighter than the tom pads, again, emulating the feel that you get on your acoustic set. And don't just take my word for it, we had our top artists involved in the development of the DTX pad with their stamp of approval. It's a great natural feel, and you'll find out that after playing your DTX pads, it's an easy transfer going over to your acoustic set and back and forth. Which also makes the DTX pad an excellent choice if you're creating a hybrid set, because you'll have a much more uniform feel with your acoustic drums and your electronic drum pads. Also exclusive to Yamaha is the three zone pad. You've got three separate zones on one pad, head and two rim triggers. It's great for triggering three sounds per pad or you can use it to control functions like stop and start the click, tap tempo, or triggering off a loop. The other thing with the three zone pad is they're very isolated. So I can play each individual sound. They're not gonna bleed into each other or trigger each other. This is especially important for the snare drum because when I play a cross stick, I know I'm gonna get the cross stick sound. It's not gonna velocity switch to any other sound. Each of my pads also include a real-time control knob. This is great for doing things like snares on and off. It also defaults to tuning on the toms, but of course it's assignable. You can assign any parameter you want to it. The ride and the crash cymbals are all three zone. You get the bell, the bow, and the edge triggers. Not only can you choke the cymbals, but you can also do what's called pre-choke. That's exclusive to Yamaha, allowing you to use all your natural playing technique you learn on your acoustic drums and translate them right to your electronic drums. The hi-hat does smooth close to open, foot splashes, and even that compressed hi-hat sound you push down really hard on the pedal and play it. Take a listen.
And for the bass drum, the KP100 not only does have a sleek design, but it's got a great feel. Wide enough for a double bass drum pedal, it's still quiet, but also it's solid, secured, it's not going to go anywhere when you lay into it. All these components are positioned on the RS700 rack. It's a steel rack, four vertical posts, so it's solid and secure. Now for the toms and the cymbals, we're using genuine Yamaha hardware. We have the boom arms, we have the ball clamps for the toms, so I can position them comfortably anywhere I want to. The snare drum pad is not mounted to the rack, but sitting on a genuine Yamaha snare drum stand. A couple of reasons for that. First of all, when you lay into those big rim shots, you don't want it to go anywhere. Second of all, you want it extremely flexible to place it in the perfect position. Well, that snare drum stand is actually included in the DTX 920K, as well as the genuine Yamaha hi-hat stand. One thing we've noticed over the years is some of our artists like to take their DTX components and mount them on drum hardware stands instead of the traditional rack. Well, for the first time, Yamaha has made that same configuration available to you. It's called the DTX 920HWK, HWK for hardware kit. Let's take a quick look. The DTX 920HWK hardware kit has all the same components as the DTX 920K, except we're using acoustic drum hardware stands instead of the RS700 rack. In addition to the included hi-hat and snare drum stand, there's three more stands. One dedicated for the sound module, another stand dedicated for the two rack toms and a crash cymbal, and the third stand for the floor tom, the ride cymbal, and the other crash cymbal. So why would you want this hardware kit? Well, first of all, it just looks cool. I mean, take a look at it. The chrome hardware stands match the boom arms, match the metallic look of the pads. I mean, it just looks sharp. In my opinion, it looks like an acoustic drum set. Secondly, it's extremely flexible. I could place any component anywhere I want to. As a matter of fact, I decided to put the DTX 900M right between my hi-hat and my first rock tom. Since it's Yamaha system hardware, I can also interchange cymbal arms, tom arms. I can put anything anywhere I want to. Finally, it's extremely portable. It's easy to set up, it's easy to tear down, and it's easy to transport. Now at the heart of the system, it's the DTX 900M sound module. It's a great sound module packed full of great features. Starting off with the fact that it has 1,326 voices, or sounds if you will, and 100 drum kits. The other thing too, there's a lot of editing to be done and you're going to want to make a lot of custom drum kits. So using a USB flash drive, you can save up to 1,700 drum kits that you can have access to. There's also digital effects, great effects. 51 different variation effects, there's nine master effects. Not only that, there's five band EQ to finish off your sound perfectly. There's also stacking and layering. This module does sound layering. You can actually layer up to 100 sounds per pad, or you can do what's called alternating, which is each time you strike the pad, you'll cycle through each of those notes. You can play chords with them, some really creative, fun things you can do with that. And if that's not enough, it has sample import. And not only sample import, but the unit itself can do sampling, so you can plug right into the module and start sampling. You can even play the drum set and sample playing loops and grooves that you want to play and finish it off with all the digital effects, mastering a complete drum track. In addition, there's a built-in sequencer with two tracks and 47 different backing songs that you can play along to. And of course, practicing is a great function of an electronic drum set, and it has these great groove tools, training exercises, 
that'll help you become a better drummer faster. The panel of the DTX 900M is laid out really well and very simple to follow. Your functions over here, transport controls for your sequencer here. You also have these real-time volume sliders that not only adjust for master output, phones, click, and the accompaniment backing parts, but also individual instruments. That's great for live performance. If you want to have a little more snare drum, a little less cymbals, whatever you want to do right on the fly, you can adjust that. You've got a lot of dedicated function buttons right underneath the screen, so you can easily get to any one of the different menus to make adjustments, do parameter editing, do any of those function editings right there. Of course, the cursors, yes and no, enter, exit, and of course, the value dial. So again, laid out very easily, and you can access things very quickly. Let's take a look at a couple unique features that the DTX 900M has. One of which is the ability to actually adjust the amount of snare buzz that you have in your toms. That's a great feature. It makes it sound more natural, makes it sound like one instrument instead of a bunch of individual samples. So for example, I can take my tom, I can go to my voice, pad, there's snare buzz, no snare buzz, and I can add snare buzz to the tom. Each pad has a real-time control knob, as I mentioned, and you can assign that to anything you want to. For example, you can have it be snares on and off. You can have it be tuning. I can also assign it to other functions, such as tempo, filter, or voice. As I mentioned, there's great digital effects on board, actually 51 different variations that you can select from, and it's easy as going to effect, and you can select reverb, chorus, and also the different variations that you can not only select, but you can do all the editing of all those different effects. For example, if you've got a flanger, you adjust the, the delay offset, the feedback level, the attack time, the phaser, the speed, the manual, the depth, the feedback. Again, all these effects are not only great quality effects, but they're highly adjustable. When you're ready to make a custom kit, that's really simple to do. And as I mentioned, we have three zones per pad, so I can have three unique sounds. Here's how easy it is to do. Select a voice, the head, and you can see in the display, I'm focusing on the head. I can change the category to, let's say I want to make a tom or a cymbal. Maybe this rim, I want to have it be a percussion sound. A shaker or... And this rim, I want to make it, let's say I want to make it a uh, tom. See how quick and easy that is. Now that I'm finished editing my custom kit, I can save it to any one of the internal user kit locations, or as I mentioned before, plug in a USB flash drive that'll give me access to 1,700 more user kit locations. You can see the module is really professional when you look at the back panel. For example, it's got 15 pad inputs. The configuration I'm using here, I can still add five more pads to my drum set. For outputs, we have the headphone out, stereo out, plus six individual outputs that you can send individual sounds out for multi-tracking. And if that's not enough, there's also a digital output. We also have USB to host, which allows me to connect my module to my computer to use as a controller for other software. We also have USB to device so I can load in samples or I can access my custom drum kits. Not only can you load in your own samples via USB, but you can use the DTX 900M as a sampler because it has a dedicated line level audio input. Now you can also use that audio input to play along with your MP3 player or any external audio device.
Well, there you have it. Yamaha's flagship electronic drum kit, the DTX920K, with great feeling DTX pads, rock solid hardware, and of course, outstanding sound quality with sampling from the top of the line sound module. Once again, I'm Stephen Fisher with Yamaha, and I'm here at Craft Music. Thanks for watching.